السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين My brothers and sisters, sometimes ignorant people communicate with us. They try to attack us so that we respond and react. And when we react, they can do something that would be harmful to us and blame us for it, to word it simply. What we need to know, these are called al-jahilun, the ignorant ones, the people who it's not worth talking to. Now, many times when a problem happens and when you have people who are toxic, Sometimes, initially, you might want to try with them at the beginning to see to what level that toxicity is. You might want to see if you can help them because we're always taught to help people. But if they are affecting you negatively and you're becoming stressed about it and it's affecting your life and you can't sleep and it's really bothering you, there is no harm in minimizing, almost cutting them off and in some cases cutting them off completely. So we need to know this because I want to heal. How can I heal when people keep attacking me? How can I heal when I'm facing the same challenges from the same people all the time? I need to get out of this. You know, sometimes it's a family member. Sometimes it's a parent. Sometimes it's a child. Sometimes it's a sibling. Like I said, a family member. Sometimes friends, associates, these people. At times, If you really are being affected and your mental well-being is affected, you may need to take a step or two back or more. So Allah Almighty tells us, Surah Al-A'raf, verse number 199. Allah speaks and addresses Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi He speaks to him and says, you know what, forgive them. Uh, Continue instructing or enjoining that which is good. And turn away from those who are al-jahilin. And what we said, jahil is an ignorant person, one who is toxic. You know, it doesn't mean the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was told not to talk to them. But he was told to turn away from them. Meaning, don't take seriously their negativity. Not at all. Because they know, deep down, you're the messenger. They know what's right and wrong in most cases. But they're either arrogant, or they're deceptive, or they're corrupt. So that is the message to Muhammad sallallahu Another verse comes to my mind of Surah Al-Furqan where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِذَا خَاطَبَهُمُ الْجَاهِلُونَ قَالُوا سَلَامًا The good believers, the, the ones who are worshipping the most merciful. When the ignorant address them, the only words they have for them is peace. Peace, it's okay. They swear you, peace. They accuse you, peace. They say something bad about you, peace. Slander, peace. They try to rile you up, as we would say, peace. MashaAllah, that's the way. Leave it in the hands of Allah. Don't worry. Allah is the greatest. Don't lose your health because of words that someone else has said. When we were young, we used to say, you know, sticks and stones would hurt my bones. And then we would go on to say, but words wouldn't do anything to us. That's not true. Words hurt a lot of people and actually cause tremendous pain to a lot of people. Let's change that. Let's go back to what Allah is saying. When these people address you, you don't need to actually become so emotional about what they've said. It's okay, discount it. They're showing themselves and their own level, not yours. They're they're stooping to a very low level. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us.